Welcome to the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. I'm your host, Melissa O'Connor. I'm a Florida-based elder law attorney who does estate planning, focusing on long-term care needs, commonly referred to as Medicaid planning, and I do probate, and I do it well. Today, I wanted to talk to you about asset protection for those of you who are trying to build a portfolio of real estate. But before I do, I want to invite you to schedule a free strategy session with me at eldermeeting.com. So every now and then I get calls from people who are seeking asset protection because they're building a um, real estate portfolio or, um, you know, my clients, family members who um, have similar desires, right? They're going to buy up a bunch of little rental properties and they want to know how they should structure this for asset protection. And many times when they call me, they think that they want a revocable living trust to accomplish this, um, this plan. When in reality, a revocable living trust does not offer asset protection. The ways for asset, to obtain asset protection, you would need to either own your property in a corporate entity or hold it in a irrevocable type of trust one where um, you no longer, you know, you're the grantor, but you're not the trustee in charge of the trust. Those would be the two ways in which um, you can have asset protection from, you know, liability and liability protection um, from you individually, right? So that way, um, if you were individually sued, those properties would not be necessarily easily um, available for um, the litigant to seek to get paid from. Um, likewise, if something happened at the property, right, there was an injury or, um, an, or a death or something like say drowning in a pool, something of that nature, um, only the assets owned by the corporate entity or that irrevocable trust would be um, for, up for grabs, if you will, in a lawsuit. Um, it would be harder, not impossible, but much harder for them to go beyond, the, you know, the um, to get to your personal assets, that is. So that's kind of the asset protection world. Many times people think when they hear trust, they go to these, you know, they hear YouTube videos or they go to um, conferences put on by um, real estate agents or people trying to sell, you know, portfolios and get you in the business. And they, they throw around the word trust and everybody just thinks of your normal revocable living trust. But that's not the one that these folks are talking about. They're talking about an irrevocable trust. And so um, I just wanted to make sure that folks know that if that's something that you're interested in um, to look into and learn the difference between the types of trust so that way you know exactly what um, the benefits are and that and how to structure you know your your future portfolio so that way you have accomplish your actual goal I hope that this information has been helpful to you if it has I ask that you like and share with others and as always thank you for joining me